Richard has enrolled in a 401k savings plan. He intends to deposit $250 each month. His employer does not contribute to his retirement account. Part A, if his account pays 3.5% annually, what can be typed into Excel to determine how much will be in his account in 20 years? Okay, remember that for uh, retirement, we use the future value uh, Excel function. We start with our monthly, re uh, monthly interest rate, so change percent to a decimal. That's annual, so we divide by 12 to make it monthly. In the middle, number of deposits. Well, there's 12 months in a year, and Richard is going for 20 years. So 12 times 20, or you can just write 240. And then the last piece is how much he's putting in, and he said 250 per month. If you type that into Excel exactly how you see that, it's going to spit out at you $86,717.32. So after 20 years, that's how much Richard would have in his savings account. Now, how much will he have in 40 years? Well, we use that same future value, 0 0.035 divided by 12, 12, but instead of 20, now I'm using 40, but he's still putting in $250. So, now we see he's going to have $261,166.72. So you can clearly see the longer you keep it in, the more you're going to have, and it's significantly more. Is the balance after 40 years, which was, whoa, uh, 40 years was 261, 166.72. Was that twice the amount after 20 years, which was 86, 717, 32? Well, Let's just round. If you say this is close to 90,000, if you double that, that's 180. You can clearly see 261 is way more than 180. So it's more than double, right? It's more than twice. Twice means double. It's more than double. And in letter D, the 20 year balance is what percent? Now we can say, okay, what percent means X over 100? If you recall back from our proportional days, we put is. Is is the 20-year balance over of, of is the 40-year balance. So we're going to put 86,717,32 over 261,166,72. Okay, let me get rid of these to avoid confusion. And we solve this proportion by cross-multiplying. So 261,166,72x equals 8671732. We divide, whoops, that's not my equal sign. There's the equal sign. We divide by the number in front of x, and we end up with 33%. So roughly, 33% is like one-third. So one-third, uh, it actually triples then is what that says. One, 20 year balance is one third of the 40 year balance. So in the first 20 years you earn an amount and you actually earn uh, triple that amount if you let it in for just 20 more years. So it's really growing a lot quicker and that's because of the compounding, right? Interest on top of interest. The longer you can keep it in, the better it's going to be. Number two, Maria works for a not-for-profit company that offers a 50% match on their 403Bs. A 403B is very similar to a 401k um, and allows employees to invest their money pre-tax. This plan predicts investors will earn four and a quarter percent. If Maria invests two hundred dollars a month, what can be typed into Excel to determine how much value, or excuse me, how much will be in the account when she retires in thirty years? And then we'll use Excel to find that value. Well, future value, they say four and a quarter percent. That's annual, so we divide by twelve. Saying 30 years, so in the middle, 12 times 30. And now think about it. If she's putting in 200 a month, her company's putting in half that. So the total is 300. 200 from Maria, 100 from the company. When you type that into Excel, you're going to get $217,749.13. Uh, okay, now, if Maria's tax rate is 15%, how much tax savings will she have monthly, and then how much will she have over 30 years? Now, because it's a tax rate, and again, I don't know how to think about this really conceptually. I like concrete numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's say she grosses $1,000 a month, okay? And I know that might seem low, but just for easy figuring. So no matter what, she's going to gross $1,000, and you can use any amount you want because it's a percentage. And the percentage will always work out um, 
because it's a percentage. Okay, so let's say that she has no contribution. If she's got no contribution, then she's going to pay 15% of 1000 which is $150 in taxes. Now, if she has a $200 contrib contribution, as she does, then she's going to have $800 of taxable income times 15%, which is $120 in taxes. So, she is saving $30 a month in taxes. That's per month. And if you think about this, well, if she's saving $30 a month, 12 months in a year, for 30 years, she's saving $10,800 in taxes by putting this, um, putting money in her 401 or 403B. So not only is she saving for her retirement, but then she's also saving in taxes. So it's kind of like, um, you know, add another 10800 10, to this total if you really want to get a good feel of how much you're saving over time. All right, and let her see. How much does Maria actually invest over the 30 years? Well, remember that she's putting in 200 a month, 12 months in a year for 30 years. So she's actually investing $72,000. Okay, well, how much more is in the account? Well, if you recall from a few slides ago, at the end of 30 years, she's got $217,749.13. That's a decimal point. If we subtract the $72,000 that she put in, that means she has an extra $145,749.13. That's all free money uh, from the interest. And that is the end of your practice.